In this video, we are going to download and install the software that we need in order to run our private network and subsequently that the software that we need throughout the whole course. So one thing that we need is the Go Ethereum client. The short version is Geth and the current version of it is 1.5.8. Probably your version is going to be newer and Geth is available for all different platforms. We're going to look into that a little bit later. And I am working currently on Windows. So I'm going to download the Windows installer for Geth. And you can find Geth either by typing uh, Go Ethereum or Geth download in Google or any other search engine, or you directly go to geth.ethereum.org slash downloads. And then you find uh, the Geth client here and I'm downloading it. I've downloaded the Geth client and you basically just quickly run through the installer. I also add the development tools. I install it there and after a while it should actually finish and it's installed. So the second thing that you need is what, what makes your life much easier throughout the course is the wallet and the mist browser and i will show you later what this exactly is you eventually heard already from it it's like a, a normal wallet where you can have your accounts and additionally the mist browser is like a, a browser where you can surf and use these distributed apps very easily and the reason why i want to use it is because it has a nice gui it's a nice tool you can also work directly from the command line but it makes usage of Ethereum much easier. And uh, the newest version right now is 0.8.9 called the Wizard. It's just six days old uh, at the current uh, time of recording. And again, I'm on Windows here. So I'm going to download the Windows installer and I'm going to hit download. And it's downloaded and I'm going to open this installer and I will uh, agree to this. I just install it here. The destination folder for the blockchain data is usually within the apps in your profile, uh, app data roaming and then slash Ethereum slash uh, chain data. I will talk more about this later. If you're on Linux or on Mac OS, it's in your home directory, either dot Ethereum or home directory. And then I think library slash Ethereum on Mac OS. It's not really important, uh, that you change this. You will encounter this a few more times in the following lectures and sections. Hit install. It's going to install it. Hit close. And then you find it in your uh, start menu or in whatever operating system you're on. And it will download, it will start downloading the blockchain data when you first open it. Now the problem is downloading the blockchain data really takes a lot of time and we are talking about days and the reason why we have made this uh, first section here right now and tell you how to install the things is that in the meantime while you are watching the theory the theoretical part about uh, ethereum you maybe can have missed downloading the blockchain data if you want to release your apps on the public chain now if you want to release your apps on the private chain which we are going to do in the next lectures then you're safe you can start developing your apps right away so this is how mist looks like if you open it up the first time and if you want to work with geth i, I close mist now i do not just hide it i will really close the, the thing then you open a command line or a shell on um, uh, depends on, on which operating system you're on uh, but in windows i open a command line and you type in geth so this will open a go ethereum node and you can see that this is going to start and it's going to download the chain data into the same directory as before because it's the standard directory for go ethereum you hit uh, Control c for just uh, closing it down again and in the next lectures we are going to start 
using our software.